lupus has been incredibly challenging. My career has been devoted to taking care of patients with lupus. And then I got hooked on clinical research in lupus back in the early 1990s. And we've only had one drug approved via the route of a randomized controlled trial. And it's not for lack of trying. It's just, it's a very difficult, very challenging disease uh, and particularly challenging to study. And that is be in part because of the heterogeneity. As I said, no two lupus patients are alike which makes clinical trial design very difficult. And lupus nephritis, though you might think, well, you're just studying one organ. There's actually a fair amount of heter heterogeneity there as well. So it's been a tough nut to crack, but I am optimistic. I think we'll see a couple of drugs approved this year, or I should say next year, 2021. And uh, let's try to get through the Regency study so we can get this drug available to patients. The phase three trial has in fact started. So patients who are interested should contact study sites. We are obviously a study site and we've screened at least one patient. Uh, this is the only way they can really get access to the drug. Now, some patients are reluctant because, well, some wanna get the drug and some don't wanna get the drug. And there's a 50-50 chance you get drug or you get placebo. But if someone enters a study, they are watched like a hawk. And if they're not doing well, then they're taken out of the study and some alternative therapy is, is, is given. But they have to remember, and we have to emphasize, that they are receiving standard of care, standard of care being steroids and mycophenolate. So we're not depriving the patients of standard of care they have a chance of getting a drug that might be effective for them.